Herbert ou Fancy, tu vas faire chier. Alors, faut que j'aille dire man, you know, it was her personal revenge. Now that she reached. Guide my friends to Valhalla. That's cool. Guide me. Are you? I don't know well, you know, with this flames like that. Mm, it's beginning to feel like a trap, like everyone can see you. You made the strategy based on SR Red taking decisions on the other side. Yes. Yes. They are saying to you that our place. Death cross it. I want them to remain wherever they are. Why? Because that is my plan. On my trip to Mercia, I convinced Riona not to come to London and to trap them in the marshes. If you have secured Riona's promise, I have. And after we have defeated the Vikings, I will need your support to help mitigate those risks. Long live King Edmund. Unifier of England. It's great, Edmund. Emma, uh, not sure of how she's taking that. By giving Edmund a crown, you risk the lives of all of us. Edmund you have saddled yourself to an impulsive child. I have saddled myself to the future king of England. It will be up to us to make this work. Yes, you can help each other. Us. Be good advisors. You expect me to help you? You have to read, girl. She did that scene to buy a hero. We're coming back for you. No, if he was alive, he would be out. If he's not, we'll be risking our lives for a dead man. We wouldn't want that. If he is dead, we have no reason to be in this stinking country. You're free to leave whenever you want. Mm, I'm like, don't you want to serve a guy like that? A man of his words, with principles. It shows you know that he's a good man and that he can be a good leader. A 
cross. Just give me your cross. I said that the religious subject would be a thing also for him, his development, his past at some point. I did not expect it so quick, like you have other things to read, so also. <laughs> Around the king. You took that risk. I thought I'd die. Once you did that, the gods must have a plan for you. The gods? How many did we lose? Six. Including one of your friends. I was fighting with pronouncing his name, so... <laughs> Good picture! I love that! I love that! Ah! Your hair? Your... <laughs> Je vais me signer cross. Tu es un chrétien. Non. Tu as un petit tag contre moi. Qui t'a attaqué sur ton front Un homme. Sur le route de Zala. Un chrétien. Un warrior avec une marque sur son front. Lucy. Il hante les pèlerins. Où est-ce qu'il est maintenant Il est mort. Il est mort. It's friends, like it was not all alone right there. I'm gonna go after you. Can I ship the two of them together? I know that they are not close at all, but they are giving me vibes. <laughs> Different of languages. <laughs> See that relationship, all guys. The bridge. I wanted information, guys. Can you use that? I don't know why, you know, I feel her at peace and so glad to be there. The fact that he's not showing his face back. I was like, I don't know him, but that's logical. Okay. <laughs> we didn't begin the battle, <laughs> not the battle that 
I want that we are expecting. Maybe in fact it's gonna happen only at the end of this season. No, it's eight episodes. We are already at the episode three. No, it's gonna be next episode, like the middle of the season, maybe. Okay, stop. I didn't have the fight, but we had the preparation of the fight, them coming to the right place, trying to have more information, failing, going again, I mean again, continuing no matter what. All of that situation with Frida, who is also on the road to Uppsala, who had also issues, who maybe could have you know, gave up or something like that, and in fact, no, she's continuing, like, it's the same journey, in fact, that they have for different objectives, girls, but at the end, they're on a journey, and they're just trying to reach a certain point. Let's talk about, first, the situation with the war. It's really... These situations for me were there to, to go a little deeper with the characters and with what we can do with them. I can see that, okay, we are doing stuff with them right now, but I think that the intentions of the writers behind what they did during this episode, these characters, it was to show us where we are going with them, what we are going to explore with them. And clearly, you know the situation with Avrout, we had another time him being against his brother, his half-brother, his half-brother making fun at him. He tried to do something, he trusted his half-brother, you know, for a plan and his half-brother was wrong. Because of that, they lost men. So for their relationship, it's already something, not something new, but it's confirming it. Harold went on that mission with the Greenland guys and some others and you know, he wanted to go like, Leif, okay, you were chosen, but I'm not gonna let you go all alone. He went with them, they failed, they had to, to give up on the situation to, to save the people that they could save. He's telling to the Greenland guys, you're gonna stay there, you don't have to pay your debt anymore, like that's it, I'm gonna take care of that. And if you don't want to fight for us anymore, you don't have to. But at the end, he's going to save Leif, to find Leif and to continue the mission. It's showing, you know, for his character, the leader that he can be, the fact that it's something that he has into him to take big decisions, to lead people, to not give up on people, to, to take the right decisions for them, to listen to them also, to not give up also on a mission, to continue things no matter what, deal also with issues that he can have and to still progress into what he wanted to do at first, like it's showing his character and it's showing what we can do with him next, like really he can be a good leader. During the two first episodes we had that already but it was more the stuff, the usual stuff like he can unite all of the Viking because of his situation, he's the prince of Norway, he has that story about being a Christian Viking and all like he can do that but it was more facts like right there, it was more his character showing aspects of his character, his qualities in fact. So it's really great for that. Leif, you know, we had this moment with him killing people when it was the first time that he did it. Having that discussion about is it something that Christians, they can do, you know, to kill people or not. Having that discussion with Harold, having that moment with the little girl, giving him a cross making that prayer for him when he is waking up, when he thought that he would die. Like, the religion is gonna be a subject for life to, to explore. And we have also that moment, that discussion that he had with Harold, the fact that Harold read him, you're there to prove yourself, you're there to to, to have the honor back, you know, for your family, but also for yourself, to prove yourself, stuff like that, and the fact that he said, like, everyone can see it, you're not hiding it that well. I said it in intro and also in the other episodes, I wrote, okay, he's not a funny guy, but he can bring something a little funny <laughs> into this show, that can be great. And I said it during this episode, I already love his relationship 
this relationship I mean around and life because they can bring things to each other and we can see that they are on the same page for the principal stuff or the situation and all I appreciate that so at the end you are on the bridge you are taking information I don't know what you can do with this bridge do you want to to use that mechanism like to 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 cut the bridge in a way by using that thing or do you want to destroy that thing so they can't themselves cut the bridge you understand what I mean? I think that it's more the fact that you want to destroy the mechanism so they can't cut the bridge and when you're gonna come they are not gonna be able to stop you Edmund, he wants to prove himself also he wanted to prove himself, you know, on the battlefield because he thought that it would be a good way to show that he's the king, that he deserves it. Godwin really proved you that no, that was not a good way. And I appreciated how he did that, the words that he used and all. I can really love his character, I think so. You wanted to prove yourself that you're the king by having this coronament. At first, it was a no. In fact, at the end, it was a yes, <laughs> you became the king. Emma is not fond of the ideas. For obvious reasons and logical ones, you know, because she doesn't want them to, I mean, the Vikings to kill you. Is it possible that there is also a personal reason behind that? Like, she was okay to be the queen a little longer? Something like that? She doesn't want and meant to take all of the decisions after that. Maybe she doesn't believe into him to take the right decisions just by himself. That's why Godwin, he told her, we can be good advisors now for Edmund, and I really think so, that they can be good advisors. And these two talking to each other, we can see that, okay, they are not fond of each other, but there is a certain tension right there that I feel that I can cheat also, <laughs> I know myself, even if there is really nothing. But like I said, Godwin, his story with his father, but also his personality, the fact that he's not afraid of saying stuff to Edmund, the fact that he gave him good advices earlier and all. I can really love him quickly as a character, and same for Emma, even if Emma, we didn't see any of her emotions, any of her feelings. But I already respect the girl and what she's doing and also. And we have Frida on this journey, who lost all of her friends. Only her girl, you know, didn't die, but she had to let her behind. Because these men are gonna be after her now. I didn't understand who they were. We're gonna discover that soon. I'm sad for Frida that she's all alone, but at the same time, it's maybe logical because that trip, it's a faithful one. Like, she's going on a journey for a question of faith, for a religious question. A journey, a mission that she has to do on her own, you know, that in fact, none of them, none of her friends could do for her, with her. She has to do it all alone, so it's almost logical that at the end she's all alone in Uppsala. I really like this show already, and it's so great! And we have also a lot of good pictures at a lot of different moments. That's so great. And I'm seeing that, but without having the impression that it's too much or something like that. The only default that I could find about this show for now it's two moments with two members of the casting which were not at the right emotion for me. You know, it's something really personal. Maybe for you it was enough. For me, during these two moments, I was waiting for another emotion, for maybe a little more. I already said it for Leif on that fight, you know, into the boat. I thought that his speech, you know, his words, the moment, the tension of the moment, was great but him how we played it it was not enough maybe it's going with the character who didn't find himself yet like something like that it can go with that but i wanted a little more during that moment but during all of the rest of the episodes of these three first episodes 
it was really great during all of the rest of the time and I didn't have anything else to say about how the guy was playing this character at other moments. So really it's just me, it's just a moment. It's nothing bad, like it was not he was not bad during that moment, just I wanted more. And the second one it's Emma. Emma she's not showing any emotions and I think that in the intentions of the writers to make this character so cold but at some point we need to, to see something else, you know, into her face. And I think that maybe the actress... I don't want her character to break right now, but at least into the eyes or something like that, we, we could have something a little different. Like right there, she's on the same level all of the time. Edmund was just proclaimed, you know, king. A little thing into the eyes, it could have been great. But see, it's really little details and about two single moments which were really great and just it was not as great as I want them to be. So clearly it's nothing, nothing bad. You know me, you know that I'm not hiding when for me people are not playing right or for me the story is not right and right or for me things are not functioning like I'm not gonna <laughs> say for which shows I did not hide the fact that I was disappointed Fear the Walking Dead, The Android shows like that not that long ago also The Book of Boba Fett like I'm not someone who is hiding my emotions hiding my feelings when they are bad especially just to please the fans just to be sure to, to, to not make anyone mad or something like that, if I think something, I'm gonna say it. So really for me to say that this is the only two defaults that I can find and it's so... You know, it's really little details into just single scenes, it's really nothing. Which is great. Which is really great. Which is proving how much... Mm. I appreciate this show already and I'm putting... I'm confident about loving this show at some point and I'm beginning to love some characters I think that you felt it during the episode I'm beginning to... Okay, I'm gonna watch right now maybe two episodes, it would be great so no matter what, it's all for you for today and it's all for me for now, so bye for now bye! Wait a minute, why am I dark? Uh, are you telling me you built a time machine? Great! <laughs>